I still say that it's they, they, there has to be Catholic lube because the, it, 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 if it's made out of holy water, the priest can bless it. And he says, go forth, my sister. I'm sorry you have vaginal dryness. Be fruitful and multiply. This is the kind of shit I have to listen to in green room, people. That's the kind of crap that they talk about, honestly. <laughs> and friggin' Ernest has already posted a picture of it. <laughs> uh, uh, Ernie, what was it called? It's in chat. Thank you for <laughs> it, it, it's in our chat. I'm saying for the viewers at home that don't know, they might be interested. We might have some uh, followers of Cathol. <laughs> the land is called Sanctus Orgasmicus. I hate my life. Folks, uh, welcome to Saturday Night. It is the one shot, despite seeing pretty much the cast of the campaign. Welcome. Uh, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Don't forget to follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube channel if you want to buy our shit. Uh, it's down below, tinyurl.com, RPG swag. Yeah, there's some good stuff in there. Uh, Carol's got a few good items. I have a few good items. Eh, whatever. Uh, folks, tonight we're doing the one shot, uh, and uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun on the high seas. Uh, not the high sea punch, but the high seas. So let's go ahead and introduce the cast. Uh, we'll start with Ernest. Ernest, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Ooh, my name's Ernest. I play in the regular campaign, and tonight in the one shot, I'm playing one of the Sugarbeard brothers. Uh, the clan <laughs> of cannibalistic half orcs. Folks, it's going to be a family night. <laughs> uh, segwaying into that, we'll go with Blake. Blake, who are you? Who are you playing? Oh, no, you aren't playing anybody. Never mind. Yeah, go ahead anyway. Kyle's the one who brought the family back. <laughs> I'm, go ahead, Blake. I'm going to be Horace Bone Grinder, the grave cleric. Got any words of wisdom for us, Eeyore? Don't ever try and have sex with a porcupine. Yikes. Uh, Kyle, who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, I will be playing Sea-Doo of the Doo <laughs> Clan Goblins. Uh, I am a shirtless lady goblin with a big scar down her chest. We'll get into why later. Open heart surgery. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, Carol, who are you and who are you playing tonight? Hi, I'm Carol, a mini painter, longtime gamer, and <clears throat> I will be joining the campaign for realsies. Uh, tonight, I'm bringing whoa, back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Your character was swallowed up in the anus of an elephant, if I'm and not she mistaken. was not. Damn it, people. This is why I he hates it, though. So. The character <laughs> of the elephant is actually strong enough to bifurcate. <laughs> it's like the Mandalorian, if you've seen the first episode. Folks, I, if, you, if you haven't figured it out, we always talk over Carol. <laughs> actually, well, I think she I needs to turn up her about, mic. Wait. 60 feet away, actually, probably from the elephant, because I was near the elephant, but I think I was subjective to that. Um, you, were so, you, 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 you fell victim to the dragon breath. Here, let, me roll, let me roll your save. You fail. <laughs> I just get booted 60 feet away. Sure, uh, but anyways, tonight... <laughs> yes! So, anyways, tonight I'm playing by... I'm bringing back my favorite road, Rania, who will try anything once. Anything? Anything. Is Can that how I let my have sex with a porcupine? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Give yep. her that advice, but who knows? She <laughs> probably would. Uh, folks, I'm just going to point out that, you know, the Ravens are playing tonight. <laughs> you don't want to see this. The sports. this is D and D. That's right, uh, folks. These guys are second level adventurers. Uh, both Sidu and Rania have the benefit of each having a potion of healing. Uh, they are in the port city of Antopolis, and they have heard across the Sargasso Straits is a humanoid problem in the land of Dunderwich. These guys have managed to scrape a few coins together. They've spoken with Captain Carl Sagan, and they are going to go on the SS Nova, because I'm changing the name right now. All humanoids are problems. <laughs> and uh, they are going to cross the Sargasso Strait and become the heroes of legend, 
that the campaigners cannot. Uh, the only problem with the Sargasso Straits is there is a long, jagged reef that runs down it. Now, fortunately, the PCs have done their due diligence and found Captain Sagan, who is one of the few individuals who knows a few shortcuts through the straits, and he can guarantee with almost 30% certainty <laughs> you'll get him there alive. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, as we join the party, is there anything you guys would like to do before you board the, the uh, Nova? I want to ritualistically cast Detect Good and Evil. Okay. Anybody else? Outstanding. Who do you want to uh, garner? It's an area of effect around me. You're on the docks. <laughs> <laughs> There's good, evil. Oh, no, I don't have, I, never mind. I don't have Detect Good and Evil. I have protection. I, I, that's a higher level. I'm fucking retarded. Um, I'm sorry. Trigger warning. Um, I would like to your audiences only. I would like to ritualistically cast detect magic. Detect what? Detect magic, and it will follow me in a thirty foot radius for the next minute. Uh, D twelve against me. <clears throat> Six. Ten. You using dice tonight? I am using dice tonight. These are special dick dice that were made to me uh, or gifted to me by the producer. Uh, and the uh, the sometimes the balls are the one, sometimes the the, the glands is the one. But I, either way, <laughs> that is still dicta. fair enough. Uh, your number beats me. Uh, there is a lady of uh, shall we say questionable attire uh, walking around the dock, and uh, she is radiating magic. Okay, that's going to follow me for a minute. As She's not, but it will. As I board, it is. <clears throat> everybody boarding? Yeah. Uh, everybody roll insight for me, please. <clears throat> As you come up on uh, the uh, gangplank, uh, Captain uh, Sagan is right there. 16. 10. One sec. I'm on my little phone here, so I have to switch between tabs. So Blake gets dice and Carol forgets hers this time. No, no, I've got my dice. I'm running it off a of phone, which means I have to switch tabs. Uh, I, 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 I'm, I'm familiar with the struggle. Tablet, a minute. Perception, you said? Insight. Uh, that, insight. Oh, insight, insight, insight. Insight, that, yeah, that's a 10. Uh, 10 and above is good enough to realize that Captain Carl Sagan is <laughs> fucking blottoed. This guy is hammer drunk. Wow. So he's already marinated, you say? I do say. That's where Mariner came from, folks. Of course. My brother's a sailor. <laughs> I've got semen. <laughs> you stole my line. <laughs> the frick sounds real. <laughs> so, uh, Captain's drunk. Uh, you also notice a uh, swar swarthy female uh, with an afro tied up. Uh, towards the back of her hair. She seems to be barking a significant amount of orders while the captain looks very peaked. I hurriedly get on board excited at the prospect of... Uh, you will detect magic on this female. Anybody else want to do anything as you board? I'm just boarding, but I mean... I don't know if we should leave, right? Because, you know, drunk driving is never usually a good... It's the best way. <laughs> I push her off the boat. Hey! <laughs> Sugarbeard? No relation oh, yes. to Captain Sugarbeard. I board the ship. Everybody boards the ship. Uh, you notice that the female is pretty much in command at this point in time uh, as uh, Captain Sagan vomits off the side of the dock uh, causing a great deal of avian life to come swirling in for the newfound meal floating like chum on the water line. Does she seem to uh, be concerned about the helm? No, you guys are uh, in dock, so you're roped. I, I know, but is she, whereabouts is she barking her orders from? She is dead center of the uh, main deck. Uh, the, as boxes are coming aboard for supplies, 
she's telling the people where they're going. <clears throat> she spots quartermaster. Eh, she's first mate, actually. She spots uh, three. Uh, Rainia says, whoa, 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 whoa. Who the hell are you? Well, I'm Rainia. I'm supposed to be on the ship going uh, crossing the straits. Who are you? Uh, nice to meet you. Ding. She yells down to uh, Captain Sagan, who is still vomiting, shakes her head, looks at you, and she goes, I'm Anla. I am the first mate. Are you the passengers that Captain Puke You've just, you just is... given a verbal description of Ala, a jihad upon you. <laughs> yeah, we are them, supposedly. On la, not a la. On, O N, on la. Uh, yeah, we're them. Fine. Uh, you guys are on. You guys are on wait, the. Wait, wait, wait. Are we going to be able to go with him like that? Puking his guts out? He always does this before he sails into the Sargasso Straits. He'll be fine by the time we reach the rocks. Why does he do this? It's what dangerous. Are we... Come pray with me, sister. I'll alleviate your concerns. To uh, Rania or Anla? Rania. Rania. I... She marks you guys down one deck at the back of the ship. Uh, you will find quarters marked guest. And there will be four swinging bunks in there and a table, a veritable mansion aboard this ship, which is a medieval cog. I'm sleeping on deck. Okay. Well, it's early morning, so you won't have to sleep for a while. Uh, right. She tells each of you, first off, she asks if any of you can swim. Uh, Anybody have sailor background? Okay. Sugar beard. Yeah. Uh, the goblin. Sea Dew! Oh, yeah. Sea Dew. What about uh, Horus and Rainia? I do not I'm, I'm, I'm haunted. I'm not a sailor and I don't have athletics, so I doubt I'm that good at swimming. <clears throat> she, uh, Anla, tells both of you two to try and stay towards the middle of the ship. They don't want to have to fish you out. Fair. Uh, sea Dew oh, and Sugarbeard, you will be rolling the next roll at advantage. Yeah. Uh, Rania and uh, Horace, you will be rolling at disadvantage. Uh, after a few minutes, uh, the ropes are tossed, the ship uh, sails out with the tide, and off you go on your sea voyage. Everybody, give me a con 12 check. Half of you are at advantage, the other half are at disadvantage. Savor, um, yes, yes, savor the ability score, save. Save. 18 I mean, and 19. That's so great for me. Mm, 12? Good enough. Sugarbeard and Sea Dew, I assume you guys made it. <clears throat> Nobody is seasick. Nobody's turning green except for the captain. He staggers on board, nearly falling off the ga gangplank uh, just as the ship starts to take off. Anla rolls her eyes. Are all four of you going to remain on deck uh, for the initial? leg of the voyage. I want to ask Sidu if he thinks, uh, or if she thinks she can actually handle this better than the captain can. You mean on No, I've never been oh, to see, No, Sidu. Because they're sailors. Yeah, do you want to perform mutiny, Sidu? <laughs> <laughs> mutiny? I was going to wait a little bit longer for mutiny, but uh, yeah. <laughs> if, we, if the captain needs to be relieved of duty, we can do that now. Yeah, I mean, if he's if he can't drive the ship, it's not like he's going to hit a car out here. Just, a, just, just the one iceberg in all of the Sargasso Straits. Well, he does not appear at the helm. He's just staggering around the deck. That's why I was asking. I, I'm trying to see who if there, if he's the one that's going to be steering. Currently, Onla is uh, Lieutenant Savicking them out of uh, space dock, and she, she's. <laughs> She's doing a fine job. Oh, so she is at the helm. Yes. So and a yes, when I asked that earlier, would have been sufficient. <laughs> I'm sorry, I only half listened to you guys. <laughs> no, I'm doing oh, Sudoku yeah, here. Captain to the edge of the uh, deck. Jesus. Okay, he is a large man. That doesn't matter. Okay. He. Uh, 
takes his jug of whatever the shit he's drinking and he heaves it over the board. He goes, come on, let's get going. We're already going. Good. My orders are followed. Uh, he, he lays down on the deck. I like him. <laughs> I'm going to uh, like, what's his charisma, by the way? 17, actually. Oh, I like him uh, a lot. Would I like think I'm going to lie next to him. Jesus Christ, that's good. What's c -Doo? No, c -Doo bangs him. I assume because I'm topless already, I'm more readily available. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know what? Give me a seduction roll. We uh, need more seduction rolls. I mean, what's in intimidation. <laughs> <laughs> a 17. I, I don't think I'm going to beat that. Yeah, climb aboard. I would say I can help. And can you I know help? what? My score was low enough. He asks about the poop deck. <laughs> don't you make that brown eye so blue? <laughs> there. How's that? <laughs> She's into it. <laughs> And the show's in the shutter already. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, Jesus. Horace, Johnny, and Radia, your uh, fourth companion is now banging the captain on board, much to the chagrin of the other sailors and the first mate, Anla. Oh, I'm God, I need salt! To... I need some salt! I'm going I... to go and begin my uh, devotionals with an earshot of Anla. Oh, oh, of Anla? Okay, I was going to say, you'll be able to hear uh, c -Doo and uh, Captain uh, Sagan all over this ship, I'm guessing. Give me a performance check, c -Doo. Let's see how you do. All right. Uh, Fifteen. <laughs> Alcohol has seemed to affect uh, the captain poorly. His <laughs> performance is a two. <laughs> Right. I'm going yes, to assume that no one else is looking at us. Uh, yeah, that's a safe assumption. I'm watching. I'm watching. <laughs> Shoot them off the boat, man. Wait, wait. I'm not only watching. I want to friggin' join them. I mean, although if it's only a two. Yeah, right? I'm disappointed. Are you, are, you, are, you going to go co are you going to go coach him? Are you going to guide it in? Like... <laughs> Yeah. Oh shit. Rainia tries anything once. <laughs> well, he's only I giving me that. a two here. Wait, would you, I'm going to hit like him with an algebraic blast and blast him off the ship. <laughs> I can if she'll try him. anything once. Would you have you ever had have you ever had wounds inflicted upon you? Who me? Yeah, if you'll try anything once. Uh I'm <coughs> I don't, I'm trying to think back if she actually has. I think Matt, we can can stop the clock. That? Yeah, I think we'll stop the clock at 16 on when I lost control of this fucking mess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we Rania, win. Damn, we win. Rania strips down and jumps into the pile, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> C Does the 21 oh, hit the captain? I'm sorry? Does 21 hit the captain? Yes, 19 will hit the captain. Okay. He takes two damage and then he's pushed ten feet. Okay. Off now the there's deck. railings all around the ship. Uh, what are you does he fall? How, how wide are the uh, are the posts? Well, it's a rail. It's like a split yeah, rail. Yeah, so something it has to be held up by something. Yeah, you got the posts and then the split rails. Yeah. How? Yeah, how so this is, you know what? This is not I a carnival cruise. We're just gonna go flying off the deck. <laughs> So if I'm on bottom, he's on top, and I shoot from. Oh no no no! He was laying down. You were on top. Ah, oh. yeah. So you, you have pushed apparently him, you pushed him through the through the deck. Yeah, you <laughs> shot yourself. Oh, hey, you're gonna sink the damn ship already. Jeez, man. There's there's cargo oh, bolts. Yeah. There's cargo holes. Sa says says the woman who's jumping into the pile. <laughs> well, all right, all right. Does, if you roll bad. above a three. I won't kill the captain. Me or her? Oh, her, obviously. She's got to do a better performance here. Wait, what? <laughs> you and c are hooking up because the captain... Convinced convince c that it wasn't just her by being able to rile the captain. 
What is it? Performance? Yep. Eh. Lost complete control. That's 13. Good enough well, for me. Man. You saved the captain. Onla just shakes her head. <laughs> uh, Sugar Baron, what do you think of their performance? <laughs> God. Yeah. For some reason, <laughs> this is one of the few times I don't have an appetite. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you might as well chop it off. It's not like he's using it. <laughs> oh, now that's a good idea. I'll wait until post-coital snuggles. And you know then, what? The, the yeah. captain was face down. That is most of his performance issue right there. Uh, so, he, so, so he has jackhammered into the, into the deck. Into the deck. <laughs> so, know. Uh, you know what? I'll say your performance lasts... Uh, mm. Ladies, do you want more out of your 30 seconds? 17 try minutes. Icy, try Icy Hot as lube. 17 seconds? Minutes. Uh, minutes. You and Rainia and the captain. Uh, well, the captain. I have been satisfied 10 times over then. I'm pretty sure that's how it works, right? Sure. Well, yeah, as long as you're, as long as you're rubbing your goblin clit the whole time. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're a female goblin. I keep forgetting that. Well, there are three of us after all. I am the bearded Carol Goblin. <laughs> oh my God. There's going to be a meme. <laughs> uh, Ernest, can you go ahead and, and get all out future descriptions? Please the Goblin clip. Let's let's do a uh, what would C do Rainy a child look like, and that'll be what we <laughs> the female Goblin. Uh, for oh, folks yeah. at home watching, uh, our apologies. Usually, I lose control way later than this. But okay, what's Anla doing? We're starting. Her. Anla is uh, piloting the ship out into the Sargasso Strait. Uh, do you want to ask her anything? Com competently. Oh yeah, yeah. This is not her first rodeo. The uh, uh, is, is, she to... is she is she distracted by her uh, by her duties? No. She's she's focusing on every aspect of the ship. And I will. I, I I continue to pray. Okay. What sugar beard? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> so, so does anybody want to? Well, does anybody not in, involved in coitus right now want to discuss anything with sailors or on law? Oh, I'm I want to find some food. I, I like down in the galley. Back. Yeah, down in the galley. Oh, I, I'm going to the galley. Okay. I, I, I suppose I will sidle up next to her and, and ask her uh, what, what dangers <laughs> await us that the captain feels the need to inebriate himself in such a manner. Well, as you may or may not know, the Sargasso Straits is uh, pretty much the home of multiple shipwrecks. Uh, most sane captains go either north or south. Uh, this will extend our trip several days. Uh, Captain Sagan, when he's not humping the deck, uh, knows several shortcuts through, uh, and he will be sober by tomorrow morning when we start our cut through. I notice the captain has many shortcomings. What can I say? He's just my captain. <clears throat> oh, captain finds a student cap oh, 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 captain, up and say, captain. captain, my captain. So she says, but yeah, there's a uh, Currently, there's there's a rather you you, you just out of character. Uh, you you said going through the straits is going to delay our journey. No, going up and over or down this, and under. This, so this is going to to two days. Off, this is going to cut two days off of the trip by going. Correct. Through. Okay. So uh, she adds that uh, marrow are always a constant problem, aquatic ogres, uh, as well as rumors of the goblin pirate ship. The scorpion. What what kind of a ship is this? Is this a galleon? How 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 it's a how, cog. how how low are we sitting on the sea? Uh, about eight feet up. It's it's not quite what Columbus so, sailed. So so it's so, 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 so a, a murga or ogre with is going to have to have quite a good vertical to be able to board. Yeah, but they can do it. I mean, they they can, but it's 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 most most attempts are by by weakling individuals are going to fail 
I just had two players bang a captain on the deck. I'll go ahead and decide. Shit. I'm not asking that, about the marrow that. will asking, fucking I'm fly. About, I'm, asking about the, I'm asking about the legitimate physics of hyd, of, of hydro uh, propulsion. Uh, it would be probably two handholds, and they'd be up on deck. Oh, there's handholds on this ship. Why the, get them off of here? Well, it's the it's the ribs. Oh, the like, like okay. So, so this is this is built like a barrel. Yeah, sort where, of. Where, 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 it's, where it's got iron bands. Uh, I'll look at those immediately. Yes, they have a rust monster out in the sea. Uh, no, it, it's uh, just the way it's constructed. If you pull up cog, you'll see how it's constructed. No, no, but it's all supposed to be flush. It's not a raft. No, I'm talking about the hull. Is that they they when they create a cog. They, they, they create it with the wood wet so that it's malleable and bendable. So it's all lying flush. There aren't handholds. Oh, Frank. Idiot. Yeah, so <laughs> you look like a fool now, don't you? <laughs> well, I'm saying, I'm saying if, we're, if, we're, if, if, the, if, the, if the deck is eight feet above water, you're going to have to have one hell of a vertical leap to actually be able to jump eight feet above water. It's nice being out in the garage again where I can yell like that. That's true. Uh, they will not just vault out of the water. They are not Wonder Woman. Correct. So we Thank don't have you. to worry about marrow. Correct. We don't have to worry about marrow unless they're going to <clears throat> unless they're going to use uh, pittons and climb it like a goddamn mountain. So yeah. anyway, after several hours, Sugarbeard, uh, you I have... You have fulfilled your hunger. Rainia and Sidu, you fulfilled your hunger. Hey, we uh, kept distracted so we wouldn't do damage. While I have the hunger of Hadar. Yes, and Horus, you have prayed your ass off and have not found any magical items on this ship aside from something on Anwa. Right, which is why I'm, I, I, I've remained in her proximity. Very good. Uh, everybody roll initiative. Well, then. Uh, not good. Eleven. Because like, I don't have a clue what we're facing. Nine. Did I hear seven out of Sea Dew? Eleven. Seven. Six. Six. Six, and I'm sorry. Sugar Beard? Seven. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, okay, I actually wrote shit down. Uh, by mid-morning, a cry comes down from the crow's nest, indicating that there's an issue on the horizon. Would you so, like to sorry, move to sorry again. At, at what time did we deport? Uh, morning. Okay. Yeah, you're about halfway towards the uh, Sargasso Strait. Okay. You're actually in the Strait. The, uh, the Sargasso Strait has the large reef in it. So uh, a lot of the crew members moved to the front of the ship and uh, the first mate on law barks at him and tells him to get back to their job. The captain is still slumbering on deck. Uh, I'm going to ask her why they seem to be. <clears throat> is, is this not a tight ship? Why, why are they, why are they not uh, already doing their duties? This could be a distraction. There anyone by, by who? By glass. By marrow that vault out of the water and fly onto the deck of the fucking <laughs> ship. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> no, say, those, sound, those sound far outside of the realm of second level characters. Uh, there, uh, a marrow is actually only a difficult challenge. Uh, Sidu, uh, do you have a spyglass? Because she does not. Well, she is useless. Uh, no, they're like a thousand gold, so. That's why I, she will go, have I will go ahead and at her at her distress, I'm going to cast the eyes of the grave. Uh, it's probably not going to do any good, but I'm going to be able to detect undead. Okay. Uh, Rainia? Yo? What do you want to do? I guess I'm going to go up front and see what I see. See what's coming at us. Sugarbeard? Um, well, I'm going to find more food. Okay, that's fair. Uh, <laughs> Wait, is there actually an enemy that I have to worry about? You don't know until you get up there. Oh, I'm still down under. You have found the magic Cheetos. Oh, they 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 do not turn your fingers orange. 
they turn everything else orange. Uh, Radia, as you get to the front, you see a mass floating ahead of the vessel. A mass? A mass. Something is in the water, and it's a mass, but you can't <laughs> tell what it is. Uh, Anla barks up to the crow's nest. They give her a directional attitude, and she appears to go ahead and move the vessel to the side of the mass. So there will not be any direct contact with it, but there will be a passing. Is well, can I make a perception check to see or investigation to see if I can investigation. make Investigation. Is it going to be, am I also, as we pass, am I going to be within, or is it going to pass on the other side? Which side are you on? Odd or even? I'm going to say that I've been on speaking to her from the left. Okay. Uh, odd will be left, even will be right. That's two. So even it'll be on the right. Okay. So and you will be in the center of the ship next to the wheel with her. Yeah. <clears throat> Twenty. Twenty. Uh, it looks like a carcass, a big carcass. Like a whale's carcass. Like a whale's carcass. Is it fresh? Like, is there blood in the water? Is it fresh, or does it look like it's been floating around? How, how bloated is it? Yeah. Whale size bloat. Uh, good news, Rainia. Uh, it is fairly recent, and the passing of the Nova has disturbed a pair of giant vultures uh, that were snacking on it. Everybody lost initiative, so the giant vultures will come in. Uh, Sugarbeard is below deck eating magic Cheetos. Uh, <laughs> we'll go with Horus 1, Sea 2. Rainia three and uh, crewman number six four. There are two vultures. First one goes after. Go red shirt. Go red shirt. Go red Uno. shirt. Uno. Second one goes after four. A yeah, crewman. Savic comment. We ne definitely need a red shirt to die. Well, uh, one's on a crewman and one is on Horus. Uh, I will go down with just one attack. Odd uh, beak, even talons. Even with a two talons, uh, which does not bode well for you if I hit with a four. So I miss you. Oops. Uh, with a 19, uh, crewman number six is about to fucking die. And I will use the Murder Hobo Ink dice. Available only at Murder Hobo Inc. Uh, six plus two is eight. Uh, the, one of the giant vultures has latched onto crewman number six, and she <laughs> is in bad shape. Uh oh. Uh, but not, but not deceased. Not yet. Uh, next, we'll go with the 11, which is Sea Dew. Yeah. I'll go. Ba -boo! And I'll shoot an Eldritch Blast at, at horses. Okay. Uh, Horus, yours is number one. Thirteen? Uh, yes, ten. Ten to hit the giant vultures. All right, that's five damage, and it's pushed ten feet away. Okay. Uh, sadly, Horus, you are up next. As a gust of mighty power pushes it away from you. I'm going to give both of the vultures a bane. Okay. What's my save? There's no save. Oh, oh no, I'm sorry. There is a save. It's uh, four, uh, 14. Yours is orange. The other one's uh, gold. Uh, the orange got stuck. Uh, the other one failed. Nat 20 for yours. Uh, uh, Reroll that nat 20. Nat Four again. They both fail. Okay. Why did I have to re-roll? Because of my uh, uh, circle of shit up on the fly. <laughs> no, my, my circle of mortality. Both fail, so they suffer a disadvantage. Correct. No, you just. I can make you re-roll a net twenty. Oh, okay. Uh, seven is up. Sugar beard, those Cheetos are delicious. You hear a racket. You hear, well, you know what? Insight it. Or perception, rather. Perception it. All right. Uh, the Cheetos are loud. 
I rolled an 18 plus five, 23. Yes, you hear a, a horrendous noise up on deck. Then I will go up deck to check it out. You will be uh, last next round. Cool. Uh, Rania, you are up. You've got uh, crewman number six in the talons of a giant vulture. You have Sidu and Horus uh, duking it out with the other one. All right. So uh, safe to assume they have my weapons drawn since something weird was going on. Or yeah, I'll give that to you. <laughs> I mean, I, I would. But I mean, because with, it makes within, within arm's reach, you would you would have disrobed with them nearby, huh? You would have oh, disrobed. This, this has been a couple nearby. hours, so yeah, you're fine. Yeah, you got your shit. Oh, no, no, they're, they're doing snuggles. No, no they're not, not snuggles. No, no snuggles. Until he uh, passed out, and because basically I was trying to distract him from doing anything to damage the ship. All I can <laughs> say is, uh, girl on girl. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. <laughs> That may have been happening too. Uh, let's see. Oh, that's pretty good. So that would be a rapier and a sword. So that is a 19 on one hit and a, what the hell is that? 17 on the other. Both hit? Sneak attack on the first. And right, which one are you going after? So, oh, the one, oh, that's right. I'm going after the one that's got the uh, crew member. Gotcha. I'm hoping they're in may considered in melee with their psychic get sneak attack. Oh yeah, they're getting eaten alive, but yeah, they're in melee. So oh that's really good. That's and thirteen and I get one of my bonuses, so they're sixteen points. Oh very nice. Woo! Not dead, but nice. Darn. New round. Maybe I'll roll better. Fifteen. Oh, that was worse. Nine. Five. I'm on a five. Horace? Oh, se seven. Seven. It's me again. Uh, Sugarbeard, you'll be going last. Okay. As you vault up the stairs, you see just a cacophony of fighting going on. Uh, this time I will use both attacks. Uh, my movement will get me back in with Sidu and uh, Horus. And let's see here. Uh, Rainia Odd, crewman number six, even for the beak. Six and two. Uh, crewman number six is. Fucked. Both all, all all attacks from all vultures are going to be at minus d4. Okay. That is not going to matter a bit. One. So 18 and a one. Uh crewman number six is going to die. You did, you you what did you subtract from the 18? One. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, D4. It was a 19 oh, and okay. minus one. Uh, and the other one was a two minus one. Uh, so crewman number six is fucked. Uh, moving on over to you guys. Uh, odd Horus, even Sea-Doo, Bite. That's a four, uh, even, and a one. So Beak goes to Sea-Doo, Talons goes to uh, Horus. Uh, Talons are going to be the gold. And D4 minus three. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to hit you guys at all. Unless uh, 13 hits. Uh, who had the Talons? It doesn't matter. 13 doesn't hit either. Okay. So uh, we'll start with a nine. Yeah. Uh, I will, uh, uh, um, ooh. this could be fun. Okay, no. Uh, Eldritch Blast for, uh, 17. Uh, that's full 10 damage. And then as a bonus action, uh, that scar down my chest, a tentacle is going to come ripping out of it. Oh. Tentacle porn! And it's going to lash out at the uh, vulture as well. Uh, but I do not think it hits. 
Eight Was he the arms of Hodor? No, 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 no. This is a uh, lurker of the deep warlock. Oh, um, got it. Cool. Yeah. Uh, you're up, uh, Horus. Uh, did that crewman flat out die? <laughs> oh, yes. Well, no, how, how much damage? Uh, he got six along that 17. He's down by five. So he's not dead. He's not healthy. <laughs> well, no, no. Any healing spells I cast are at maximum at someone who is on, at someone who is down. Uh, you are currently engaged with your creature. Right. Uh, so if I were to healing word it. As, as the cantrip. No, if I were to cast healing word on the downed crewman who is. Uh, how many feet away from me? Uh, probably 15 tops. Okay, so yeah, healing word 60 foot range. So if okay. I were to healing word him, he would automatically recover eight while he, while he is down. So he'd be up plus three, but that's going to give me an opportunity attack against you. No, because it's healing word, Frank. He's 15 feet away. Right. And more 10 healing, feet healing away. Healing word has a distance four. of 60 feet. Gotcha. But that's your action, right? That's a bonus action. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that was my thing. Okay. Yeah. No, I'm going, to, I'm going to sacred flame the one that, that on her, on her, him, it. Mm -hmm. So dex 14. 16. Uh, does absolutely nothing. But I'm going to, yeah. Does nothing going to go ahead and healing word the crewman though. So they are up and well, well, Plus three. Track the D four from the same. Well, well, no, no, we, we're not doing negative damage. They're they're at zero. They just didn't die. Minus one, so fifteen. Uh, no, did, did you hear me, Frank? They're not. They didn't go to negative health. E five doesn't do negative health. They're just down. They didn't die. They were unconscious. Right. So now they have eight hit points. Eh. See, this is why five uh, E sucks. <laughs> now this is why you need to read the books. Ah, eh, fuck the books. It might help. I, I mean, Kyle, am I, am I wrong in saying it that way? No, you're right. I'm not, I'm not I, asking I just, you, Frank. I'm not asking you, Frank. I, I just hate Kyle. that shit. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, Rainia, you are up. Uh, I'm going to take another two shots at a, let's see. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm second level. I actually had, I took two wielders, so I don't have to worry about drawing on the fly. Oh, for fuck fixed. Well, that is going to be like, I'll see if the other one's a miss. Um, I'm pretty sure an eight is going to be a miss. You know, it's a 50-50 shot of hitting these fucking things. <laughs> no, that's, a 10 is what you need. Yeah, well, I got over a 10 on the other one because that's 14. Okay. How much damage? Um, I think I can choose. Oh, very cool. Um, So nine... Uh, so nine points. I Dead. I get that. Uh, one, two, it goes over the side. Uh, three through six stays on board. One over the side. So, uh, Sugar Beard, you come charging up the stairs and you see one giant vulture go over the side. A crewman laying on the deck. Rainia doing something. You see Sea-Doo and Horus uh, connected with the other one. So is that vulture, the remaining vulture, how far away is it? Uh, you would have come up in the middle of the ship, so I'll say 40 feet. 40 feet? Uh, cool. I'll shoot my bow at it then. And 21 to hit. Yep. But it's only 1d6 plus 3. Seven only has damage. 6 left. Well, it's dead. Uh, 1 or 2 off the boat. Better stay on. That is a 5. It stays on. Ooh, I now go to that bird and I chop it up and I eat its entrails. Uh, give me, everybody give me an arcana check. Arcana. Oh, 19. No clue. That'd be a that'd be a nine. I got a three. <laughs> Arcana check, uh, Blake. Eleven. Nope. Uh, C do you are well aware that the feathers of a giant vulture can be useful in alchemy? 
uh, and might fetch something when you get to town. Well, I'm not eating the feathers. I'd want no, them, you're just I'd chopping want just, it up. I'd want them as decoration. So you do you want them? No, not really. All but right. If, oh, I was going to say, if they're for treasure and someone says it, I'll take them. <laughs> I'll uh, you... That tentacle from my chest, it goes and plugs into my ear. And this weird voice, the feathers can be used in alchemy. Here, look at the tip. Hey, guys. <laughs> uh, Rania and Horus, uh, D12 roll off to see. Well, who well, gets well no, I don't, I don't, I, I guess I wouldn't want a feather. I just want a wishbone. You want, no, you just want to want decoration. I, I want to, I want a wishbone. <laughs> you okay. can have, you can have any viable feathers. I'm going to, I'm going to carve it. Rania, okay. the, well, fucking sugar beard is hacking the crap out of it. Uh, Rania, the tail feathers will fetch 20 gold pieces in town, uh, when you reach Gelden. Capital city of one shot, so it doesn't matter. Exactly. Nobody gives a <laughs> shit. Uh, the captain comes over and takes a look at it, and you now recognize you don't even need insight that he's got a hangover. But he seems to have his faculties. Well, what uh, what time is it that he slept it off? Remember? It's uh just after noon, midday. I slap him on the ass. Does he remember like before was he too drunk to remember it? Fifteen, he remembers. Good. And, and you know what? Let's let's see what his perform what he thinks his performance is. Well what he thinks it was because it was bad. He thinks his performance is nineteen. <laughs> Ladies. Give me give me a give me a uh, uh, a, a wisdom fourteen save. Uh, nine. No. No, I'm. He 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 is uh, making sure. Oh no! Never mind. Suggestions a higher level spell, level spell. I keep forgetting we're only second level shit. <laughs> <laughs> so you did you actually heal the fucking crewman and kill the thing? <laughs> I didn't kill shit, but I healed the crewman. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, he calls Anla over and he's like, what the hell's going on here? She explains to him that there's a fucking way. I'll, I'll take the helm in her absence. Okay. Uh, you got to push another sailor out of the way. Oh, so someone took over for her when she went? Yes. She would not leave the wheel on it. That's what I was trying to guarantee there. Yes. No, Sulu came in and he took control of the helm. He's in charge. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, she explains to him what's going on and he's just holding his temples. He's like, okay, how far away are we? And she says a couple hours. And he goes, okay, fine. I'm going to go below deck, get some water. We'll be fine. So uh, anybody else want to do anything in this particular encounter? I'll take a quick look around and make see if anything was damaged by the vultures when they dove onto the, when they were like diving. Yeah, they they nothing was uh, disturbed. Okay. I'm uh, still also keeping on law within, let's say, fifteen feet. That's fine. It's not a huge ship, so it shouldn't be that much of a deal. Ah, uh, because I didn't. I think the cog is what sixty long, and then and then I'll go try and convert the crewman that I saved. Convert him uh, religiously. Yes, friend. <laughs> hey, you have to be specific. I, I already I, had two PCs doing it with a captain. Have you heard the Have you heard like the good, you heard the good part about the Rizian? <laughs> uh, mildly interested. That's Most all I was asking for. That's all I was asking. I, I would expect nothing life. more than mild interest. Okay. Uh, Anla returns back, releases the crewman. He goes back and sits at the science desk, uh, and they continue to head out to sea. Anybody want to talk to her, the captain, before he goes down below, or any of the crewmen? I want to peek over his shoulder and observe the contents of the science desk. That sounds fascinating. Uh, there's a lot of uh, buttons and dials and flashy lights and shit. I, 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 so there is no actual science desk. I was legitimately like, if they're doing research or something, if this is the fucking uh, yeah, the, the, Jacques Cousteau, yeah, the Jacques Cousteau bus. Yeah. 
No. And because he called him Sulu, he wants to make it a science desk. Pretty much. Uh, so, uh, the ship continues on. Uh, is, I, is there a crow's nest? Yes. I want to climb up to on the crow's nest. On a cog? <laughs> <laughs> there, there's, there's always a crow's nest. Uh, you want to climb go. up? Sure. Give me a dex check since uh, you have oh. shit rolls so far. Is Can one I of a around her just to make it a little bit more difficult? Can I, what? Can I, can I, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'd like to give her guidance. And what is guidance? Don't do it! <laughs> well, that was a, a 14 to start with. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Okay. I don't well, keep it. So you do, what were you doing? I was going to shoot her off as she was going around. Didn't you do that <laughs> earlier? <laughs> Uh, my company there? You know what? D12 against me. For what? See if they want company. Oh, actually, Six. maybe I want to come up in the crow's nest. Six. <laughs> Reroll. We've been better if it was a nine. Six again. You beat me five. No, go away. We saw what you did with the captain, and we're still ill. Well, I wasn't actually. But it kind of p takes their boot and pushes it slowly down. I really on wish you. I had cure disease. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. No, I it was no. I was going up there. My, I was talking to. Uh, oh, uh, Anla. Goblin. No, so I was a goblin. That she liked it. I mean, she liked my company. I was going up there alone. Right, but there's already somebody up there. Well. Oh. All right, Rainia and Sidu are going to overpower this guy. Toss him off. I go, In the so crow's he, nest? Yeah. Jump down? Wait, is he trying to actually shove me out? Not, not like out. He's like, he's like just like blocking your path up. Yeah, you, you oh, are. He way. is in like a cup, and you have to come up through it. You don't get to come up and over. Right, it. right. No, no, I get that. No, I'm going to say to him, listen, I'm just here to look out. I'm actually very good at this sort of thing. I've got a good, I've got a good perception. So Persuade or, me. You still have guidance. So I will. So what does guidance give me again? Add, add a D4. A D4? We'll see. Well, I, you know, she will. Actually, she's already got a fairly low cut shirt, but she'll kind of flirt with them. Uh, oh, that's really good, actually. That's good. That's good. That's fine. I used the D4. Um, 17, and this is, which one was a Persuasion? Uh, the 21. How tall are you? Uh, she's actually really short. She's about... That, that will give advantage to him looking down your shirt. Yeah, come on up. It's a party. Yeah, sure. What's going yeah. on? I pull Go out down. a... You and the sailor are in the crow's nest. I will fucking love boat. That's what this thing is. Fantasy love boat. How good Welcome to fantasy love boat. So wait, I wasn't even going there for that reason. How good looking is he? <laughs> Fifteen. Okay, that's actually pretty fair. But better than the captain. My person was a fourteen. I thought the captain was a seventeen. Yeah. Captain was a seventeen. He is. But his performance was shitty. So it was seventeen. Well, it was AC's nineteen. I blame it on the a a a a alcohol. Hey, the go the goblin performed well. I was reasonable. Thank you. It's the tentacles. God, I hate this game. Speaking of trying things, want to be interesting with all those tentacles. That, we'll that's, that, that, that's, that's for down, that's a downtime activity, Carol. I'm just kidding. So you're up at the crow's nest with the above average looking crewman. Uh, Whatever. You, you've got a great view. You can see the uh, cool the whale, the dead whale carcass in the background. Uh, give me a perception check uh, to see if you can see the rocks. <laughs> uh, that would be 
that'd be 15 i think perception still too far away yeah still too far away so all you see is you can add, you, you, if you haven't used your guidance it lasts for a minute you, so you used it last time get in there no, no, you oh did you use it for your per, for your uh persuasion yeah no, she used oh, it for her yeah. uh what was the 21 it was for what, the persuasion was, check okay. to get to the crow's nest so yeah, so you're up there, uh, Sugar Beard. You're uh, chowing down on the. I don't know. Vulture. Yep, snapping uh, the bones, drinking the marrow. See do. Are you climbing up? I'll go halfway just to look. DC twelve, Dex. <laughs> Dirty twenty. Yeah, you make it up there about halfway. Look around. Okay, still too far away to see the rocks ahead. Uh, Horace, what are you doing? I'm collecting the bones that Sugar Beard is discarding. Are you going to eat the bones, Sugar Beard, or are you going to discard? Uh, I'm just going to drink the marrow and then toss the shards away. Then I'll try and collect a couple intact. <laughs> Sugar Beard, are you going to let him? Yeah, sure. Yeah. I'm a gracious host. You collect a few bones. Uh, I'll give you... Six, because it's on the Murder Hobo Inc. side. So Woo! you got six and, bones. And, and because my family name is Bone Grinder, I'm going to pocket them. Why didn't you jump in with Sea and Rainy if that were the case? Because there wasn't a bone to be found. Aha. Uh but -huh. um, uh, okay. Uh, how long do you want to sit up there, Rainia? Uh, I don't know until. For a while, and who knows, maybe that role was not so great because why we were distracted. Radio I the, uh, for a while. The sailor is going to go ahead and tell you uh, a story uh, of the last time he was here. He actually saw a large sea serpent. Really? And then he looks at his trousers. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for stealing the joke. <laughs> <laughs> the serpent, she rises! Uh, Release the Kraken. <laughs> what kind? What, where did you see it? Right here. In the, your pants. In my pants. <laughs> All right, then. It's canon. The crow's nest is for Jacknet. <laughs> now, this is it. It gets I, lonely I, in the crow's nest. Yeah, exactly. But uh, and so, you know, well, well, like we said, we <laughs> cut it right there. And everyone can use their imaginations. It's more fun that way. Radia is now a moil. Uh, Sugar Beard, you're done consuming the vulture. You've given some bones to your associate. What would you like to do now? Um, I guess I'll clean up. First off, give me a con roll. Make sure that the uh, vulture agreed with you, or if not, you've got <laughs> worms. All right, con save. Actually, it's probably chlamydia if he was eating a bird. Nat 20 plus two. It was delicious. Oh, of course. Must have, been, must have been the sacred flame. Uh, see, do what do you want to do? Uh, I'm just hanging out below the mast, and I notice the weather is changing, and <laughs> then I realize it's sunny and clear out. <laughs> and then I just moisturize. What? You're, squir what are you you're squirting. You're squirting, Raina. You're squirting. <laughs> Horace, what are you doing? We're leaving it to the imagination, guys. I'm, I'm not I'm, enough left I'm, to I'm the imagination. For a moment of distraction. With I was oh, waiting God. to hear there was a shower. <laughs> a, a short a goal, squall. A there was gold pouring from the skies. <laughs> I'm so tired right now. I'm, Somebody I'm, is I'm, going I'm, to the brig. I'm I've waiting never for tried a that of before. It'll probably be oh, me no. if it goes to the brig. Oh, wow. <laughs> Horace, what are you doing? I'm waiting for a moment of distraction on the part of the first mate to potentially relieve her of what I saw. Oh, you haven't seen it. It's hidden somewhere on her. Oh, okay. Well, I'm still waiting for a moment of distraction. So uh, no, nothing happens if she doesn't seem to be. You will find that she's rather standoffish with you guys. She does not like non-sailor types being on board the ship and hates... The when the captain brings on passengers. Uh, I think she doesn't hate me because of my background. I think she has to be gracious to me. Oh, she'll be gracious to you, but she doesn't like you guys. But I'm a sailor. 
Yeah, unless Not unless I'm actually a threat Adam, to her. Goblin womanly breasts. Unless I'm actually a threat to her, she will defend me. Oh, she'll defend you because that's her job. She'll defend all four of you, but she doesn't like you. It's like they the extend, secret they service. They extend me every courtesy. Mm, sure. <laughs> No, no, I'm, I'm reading it verbatim. Okay. Uh, so goes a few more hours. Uh, Rainia wipes the hair out of her eyes, I'll say. Uh, give me a perception check. Yep. I mean, yeah. Roll, done. For, I go- hair, roll for hair gel. Uh, it was better than the last roll. Uh, 17. Uh, fortunately, you were facing forward during your... Have you ever seen anyone vomit on a roller coaster? <laughs> wait, so is this you would if you were in row three. So wait, is this going to interrupt things? No, he's he's uh he's fast. Uh, actually, you know what? No, he takes his time, and uh, it takes about a <coughs> excuse me about a half hour. And uh, as you're being jostled forward, uh, is, there, is, is, is this a is this a we can't leave it to the imagination. Then is this a full romp, or are you just giving him a hand job while you're both looking around for other? I, I think it was a full romp. Is how oh, I. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'll try anything. Because now she can say, "Crow's nest." Check. Yep, trying anything once. Okay. Uh, so <laughs> you see spires, rocky spires, coming up out of the sea, and the waves are crashing on them, uh, and they're just ahead. Uh, your Lover do minute uh, rings a bell. Yeah, I mean, obviously, I'll say, "Yo, is that uh, right there, guy?" All right, shut right up, there. shut up, shut up. <laughs> uh, because you are supposed to be up there, even though everybody and their brother knows you're up there. He <laughs> yell, he yells down, and he goes, "The spires, the spires!" Hearing, hearing the bells and the concerns, I'm going to cast guidance on uh, the uh, helmsman. Okay. Good plan. Anybody else want to do anything? Uh, hold on for dear life and hope the helmsman misses it. I, there's not much I can do. Unless I can, I don't know, can I yell directions? I mean, I don't really know I'm not supposed to be there. No one stopped me. I climbed up. I didn't exactly hide when I climbed up. So Well, they were looking up as you climbed up, and the guy up top was looking down. So you can you can do the math on that one. Uh, so you've cast guidance on it. Uh, you notice the captain comes over, uh, grumbling up from below, uh, takes over the helm, stand back, got it. And I cast guidance on him. It's a it's a it's a key trip. That's fair. Uh, He's looking at it, and he yells up to the crow's nest and says, what's it look like? So wait, did I actually pick up the guy? Did he actually say I'm not supposed to be there? So I probably then... They they never said it, but now the captain's asking what's going on. Otherwise, I don't care. I'm a friggin' troublemaker. Uh, I'll actually call down... I'll call down a description, brief description of what I see. What in the hell is she doing up there? There's about five inches. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is she doing there? Why are you guys here? There, 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 there is a large the- serpent in need of charming. <laughs> because the I'm captain let us ride the ship to get us to go straight. I'm here to help stave away the loneliness of being <laughs> <laughs> and also, I'm good at finding things. I saw your rocks. Well, I got his rocks. I got his rocks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I found your rocks. <laughs> yes, Carol, we were all paying attention to the first part of the adventure. We know you saw the rocks. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my god. Uh 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 the captain turns to to Anla and says, This, this is why I drink. Uh I thought that was because of the dangers of the Sergasso Strait. 
Carol is the current danger right now. Uh, he yells up to Harry and says, where are we? Uh, Harry pushes you aside, yells down to the captain, and he says, it's two clicks on the left. Yeah. Give well, me just... give me a perception check. See, do give me a perception check. Does see, do, or both of us? Both of you. Uh, that is a 19. Yeah, they beat me. That's a 14. Both of you notice that on one of the rocky outcroppings uh, is a statue, maybe? There's a discoloration that kind of resembles a Buddha. Uh, to the right seems to be a shallow waterway. But uh, Sidhu, you would have seen it. Rainy, you would have seen it. The guy in the crow's nest is saying it's on two clicks to the left, which, depending on your opinion of a click, may or may not mean this discolored Buddha. Hey, I'll point it out the, the guy. I'm still on the left, but I've seen it. Right there. You will not see it. Uh, Sugarbeard will not see it. Because we're up high. They're I'll up high, and that's why the captain needs to know. I'll point out, hey, what's with the <laughs> statue right there? Shut up! <laughs> I'll ask for a description of it. I I pointed out to the the crew member, anyways, because I figure the captain will listen to him if he doesn't listen to me. Well, uh, Horace wants to know what you're seeing. There's something. There's something. Wait. There's something out there that looks like a statue on the rocks. What kind of statue? To the right, right. What kind of statue? Is Buddha really a thing in this world? You can uh, say short squat fat guy. Bye, Thanks. short squat fat guy. Um, can't really make it out better than that. Maybe Sidhu can make it out better because he's religion check. Real higher. Religion check. Yeah. Go ahead. That's a nat twenty. Woo. No, no idea. Okay. No clue. What about history? Can I? I can't make a second one. Mm -mm. This is like a Cupid doll. It's insignificant, but it is a marker for the captain and the others who know of the shortcut. Ah, uh, give me another perception check, Rania and Sidu. Oh, that, that's another nineteen. Oh, that's a what is that? That is a twenty. Uh, Rania, as you yell down to Horace, you look back up. Both you and C do see the kind of passageway of water is blocked by a partially sunken ship. Hey, there's a ship in the way. There's a sunken ship in the way of the passageway. I'll you take a shit off the side of the boat, lady. You just drop trial, hang your ass over. I pointed out to the actual crewman in hopes that he'll talk some sense into the captain. I'm done with you, okay? I got this job. <laughs> he yells down, stand down, stand down. There's a vessel ahead. Anla goes to the front of the boat, yells out, Hold, bring the bring the sails down bring the sails up. We gotta stop. Uh, significant enough distraction when she's leading my uh my area to try and pickpocket her. <laughs> pickpocket her if you want. Is she but is this a, is this a significant enough distraction? I don't know. Do you want to try and pickpocket her? I, I want an I want an insight check to see if this is going to be a You may insight check her. <laughs> That's a fifteen. She she seems to be taking the most direct route up. 19. What did I get? Nothing. Fuck that. Well, <clears throat> because the item is attached to her body. Oh. So, did, I, did I get like a handful of... Ass. ass or, <laughs> I would assume it would be cloth because I would assume that would be high enough to beat her perception. Yeah, well, 
I assume. Yeah, seven. So yeah, no, she doesn't perceive it. She doesn't perceive your touch because she's focused on going to the front of the ship. Okay. So so I've I've learned from that engagement that it's not anything freely available. Correct. Okay. So I got to kill her. Correct. Uh, are you following her up there? No, I'm paying, I'm still trying to give the captain guidance. Sugarbeard, are you following her up there? Yeah. No, no. Okay. <clears throat> she comes back. Uh, all four of you see her jump off the front of the ship. Where are you going? It, was, 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 did, did, had she uh, fastened herself to anything? Does, is there anything attached to her, or is she just free, free, free diving? She jumps off the right side. Uh, the crew, the crew doesn't seem to. I, get... I, asked, I asked the captain. What? What do you what, want? What, what, what do you what, want? Is, what is, do you is, want? My is, head is, is pounding. Is this is this fucking normal? What the what? Is this fucking normal? Is this what she normally does? Is this this seems very unusual to me. Yeah. We're a camp? sailor, are you? <laughs> and he how, says, are you, "How are you going to get her back up? It's eight feet above the ground." Or above sea level. She can fly. She's got a magic cape. <laughs> so he just waits, and he's just tapping his finger. Yeah, uh, he's, see, he's, he's, see he's, he's not he's not expressing any concern over this. No, not a, not a lick at all. See, do and radio. Yeah. Give me perception checks. You guys have height. <clears throat> uh, eighteen. Huh? Eighteen. Both of you noticed that. She has landed on a rocky patch and is walking across the stones uh, that are sticking out rather nimbly. Uh, you'll notice that the water level between the stones apparently is probably pretty shallow because she seems to be not walking on water, but skipping across it. Interesting. And, and she gets to the wreck. <clears throat> Uh, Sugarbeard and uh, Horace, are you still laying back? I mean, I don't know what I could do to help. So, yeah. I want to show, <laughs> as, as a show of my faith, I want to demonstrate that the Risden has also bestowed this ability upon me. <coughs> I, I go after her. Fair enough. Uh, go ahead and make your leap. Okay. DC, Dex. What? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, Dex saver check. Uh, or, or save. Is acrobatics check. Dex save. Dex, oh, you Dex gotta, save. You've got to jump down and not spear your sack on uh, the rocks. I, I would say that's an acrobatics check. Dex. Okay. I mean, same difference then, but uh, that's going to be a 15. Yeah. Uh, you jump down and you find yourself in a little saltwater puddle. Uh, it's almost like there are stalagmites everywhere because the reef has these rocky protrusions. Uh, she's a good 20, 25 feet ahead of you, and she seems to be looking around at the debris. Hey, Frank. Yes, ma'am. Can I... <clears throat> Is there like any ropes hanging down that I could just use an acrobatics check to go, you know, to get down quickly? If I roll no, uh, just I'll, the I'll, I'll, I'll cast Bane on on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll just shoot her out of the air as she flies down. <laughs> uh, yes, you notice that in leaving the crow's nest. The netting is there. There's there's no string or no rope. Uh, uh, and sea dew is going to be blocking your way. For, for some reason, this ship has no anchor. If you like, I, I can make I, a rope. I there, they don't need to anchor here. Fucklery thing, but no. Know, She's but trying to get out of the crow's nest. Yeah. She's not trying to get off the ship. Oh, you should be able to give it, do an acrobatics check to to jump to some of the rigging on the sails. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. Jump to the rigging and down. You'll get you'll get rope burn. Are you oh, going to God. arrow flint that shit and carve? Yeah. I try anything once. This is, you know, being <sighs> I can live out my fantasy to be a pirate. Okay. You know what? Uh <laughs> jump jump at the secondary mast and uh 
make a acrobatics check to oh grab something and then dex check if you want to slide down with your dagger. Oh no, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen. You're, you're, you're out of, you're out of so touch. I, I can't give you a guidance. That doesn't matter. That's a nat one. That's only a six. <laughs> oh, it's gonna fall. How far is that fall? Can I try to catch her with a tentacle? Not enough to probably kill me. Not with that roll. It's 1d6 damage for every 10 feet fell, falling. Nine, nine damage. All right, I'm, I'm okay. Oh, and the good news is you've Can reached the deck. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on a second. Reroll a 20, and if it's one through five, you're going to hit somebody, and if it's a one, it's going to be the captain, and he's going to kick the shit out of you. Oh, no. That's not a oh, it's not a one, but it's a two. So he hit somebody. So that, I, uh, the, I have to heal another fucking red shirt, shirt, don't I? No, you have to heal the same fucking red shirt. <laughs> uh, you know what? She is also going to get nine. <laughs> and she will, also had eight. <laughs> oh, I was gonna, well, no, what's, what's her max HP? You know what uh, 12. So no, she didn't go all the way back around. She's just unconscious. Yeah. Actually, uh, no. And underneath Rainia. You know what right. I'll do? I can still cast Spare the Dying at range, if I, but I don't, I don't see this. You don't, you don't know shit. Still, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hey, the You know what I'll do? I feel bad about this. pile on the deck. Can I hop from halfway down and just get down to the deck quickly? God damn it. I had a friggin' I didn't roll that high either. So, yeah, do an acrobatics check. Go ahead, Rainia. For what? Um, you you wanted to say something. Oh, yeah, no. Was, the CC dude was asking for acrobatics. I feel really bad about this, so I was going to take that healing potion and give it to her. Okay, c dude, did you make your jump? 22 to make it. Yeah. Woo! You slide yeah. down uh, expertly. Oh, to land on top of them. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. yes. You... There's a dog pile. I want to get in all of that. Odd, yeah. odd, you hit crewman number six. Even you hit Rainy. No, no, crewman number six is is protected, but takes two, but, but fails two death saves. That's true. I told you I'll give her a freaking potion and be done with it. Well, beat me on initiative. Otherwise, she'll have to roll the death save. It's only one. No. Because uh, C do fat ass landed on him, uh, and she'll it's going to be bludgeoning damage that 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 Newton's cradle down. Yeah. Nineteen <laughs> natural. Friggin' hell! Yeah, I'm so, like I'm gonna eat that anyways. So crewman number six just needs a ten or better. Nat twenty. Yeah. Oh, so she's already up. Thirty, yeah. and I don't have to do it. <laughs> uh, no, you you she'll she's at what one point. One point. Yeah. One point. She's so conscious. Son of I, a bitch, I hate this fucking trip. <laughs> I wrap my arms around her neck and say, you caught me. <laughs> my hero. Uh, base D20 roll there, c -Doo. You caught me. I feel so bad about this. <laughs> <laughs> she punches you in the boob. Oh, that's mean. Roll, roll, uh, for, roll, roll for unarmed attack. Yeah. <laughs> Horace, uh, you are now with Anla, and you have discovered that the ship is the morning, M-O-U-R-N-I-N-G star, the morning star. Uh, can, I get, her, can I get a history oh, check? You can. You won't know jack shit. You aren't a sailor. Uh, no, but you, I am proficient in history. It's a merchant ship. So. Okay. There, there's nothing special about it. However, on oh, laws, but, but I, I, I'm 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 intrigued by the by the by the spelling of morning. Okay, uh, you can roll a history check, but there's nothing to know about it. No, I'm uh, just saying, as as a character, Horace is fascinated by the spelling. He 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 assumes that it's from the temple. Okay, um, she stomps back towards the boat. Uh, I ask her. I thought we were doing. We were coming down here. What's going on? Uh, the captain's not going to like what this ship is. I'm going to need oil because uh, we're going to have to burn this out, and we cannot take this shortcut. 
Why can't we? It's going to take several hours to burn through. Uh, and during that time, there's going to be a black smoke. And we're not waiting around for creatures to come uh, for the beacon. So I'll be right back. You can stay can I, here. Can I, hang, on. I, I, hang on. Hang <clears> on. <throat> can I mend the ship? <laughs> I mean, no, it, it, it might take an hour, but is it going to take less time? No, she's, she's, no. There, there's I'm, I'm, not, I'm not asking her, I'm asking you. Yeah, yeah, she's not going to wait. She's going to burn it out. I, I, but I'm asking you, it, it's not going to take less time. No, she's, it'll take a long time, but they aren't going to wait. Because, then, uh, I, I, I can't say why they won't wait, but they cannot wait. I was going to say, if they're already concerned about creatures finding the beacon, I would I would assume that they would welcome the opportunity to. Not going to happen. Well, uh, okay, give me. Uh, you're going to have to give me a logical reason on that one then. Uh, you're going to see it here in about ten minutes. <laughs> I mean, lo 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 logistically, if they, if they're concerned about smoke, and I'm offering a, a a different solution, why aren't they going to accept it? The predators in this area are well familiar with this being used as a shortcut, and they will be on the lookout for Stalled vessels. Say, passers. Also, you have not okay. taken into account why this ship is sunk. Okay. Yeah. No, 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 that, that's fine. If, 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 if being a stalled vessel is a danger, then that's, that's acceptable. But I needed a reason. Yep. She, uh, she's going to go back, get some oil, and set this bitch on fire. I'm gonna. Oh, I want to. I don't have. Oh, too low of a level. I know. I'm still gonna. I still have a natural swimming ability, or do I not? Well, you have a natural. What kind of armor are you wearing? Leather. Yeah, you can swim. I'm still gonna but try. A lot of debris here. I'm still gonna try and loot it before she gets back with oil. Okay, that's fair. Hey, I'm gonna, I was gonna head out and then I see her coming back and then I'm like, uh, what? Uh, Sugarbeard, Seadew, and Rainia. Go ahead and give me perception check. Uh, uh, 16. Jesus, suck. 11. What was it, Sugarbeard? Seven. Uh, Sugarbeard, you don't hear the shout. Rainier, you don't hear the shout, but you see the reaction. Uh, Sidu, you hear uh, Anla shout for the rope, and you see a crewman toss one over uh, with knots in it. She deftly climbs up the side of the ship, looks at the captain. It's the Morning Star. Captain is obviously concerned. He's very upset. Uh, she goes over grabs a couple of flasks of oil and some flint and steel, jumps back over, 17. Uh, Horace, you are underwater? Essentially. Initiative. Uh-oh. 13 plus 2, 15. Uh, 7. You are not going to like what is about to happen. Uh, mm -hmm. She jumps over the ship. Uh, Horace, as you're trying to look through all... I, I'm not spending that much time. Like, I'm not, I'm, I'm, not I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what her intent is, so I'm going to try to be back above water before she lights it. You, you will want to be below water because you will want to see the marrow coming. So, I, I, I know, but I'm telling you of my intention. It, it's not... She's it, not going to set it, you on fire. Yeah. It, it's only go, yeah, okay, okay. Uh, the marrow, you see a large figure swimming up towards you at a uh, very high rate of speed. Okay. It's your turn. Okay. Uh, I'm going to sacred flame it. Okay. Uh, Dex 14. Uh, that's a two, so no. So that's going to be... Uh, which one is one of these? Mm, that one. Uh, that's going to be seven radiant. Seven? Yep. Got it. Uh, 
new round, this round, Anya will arrive and determine something is amiss. Do you want to stay underwater or go up? I'll decide that after initiative. Fair enough. Hey, um, Frank. Yes, ma'am. I'm at the front of the boat because I said I went up there and then just saw her come up. And, like, damn it. Can I see any of this? Nope. Not yet. Mine's, okay. a, mine's a net 20, so 22. So you're up first. I'm going to... It has not attacked you yet. I'm going to take my movement to, to move towards the surface and Sacred Flame it again. Okay. So another deck 14. That one's an 18. Okay, so I, no, no damage, but I've... No, 17, because I, I lose one. Okay, but, I, but I've successfully moved however far from it. You're on the water line. Okay. So now Anya sees you, uh, does not see what's going on unless I hit you. Because if I miss you, she doesn't know what's going on, uh, mm -hmm. and you'll need to shout to her. So only one attack from the marrow. So, it, so I moved a full movement. Is it dashing? Yes. It's, so it, 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 swims, it swims at a higher rate than you move. Fair it enough. Go, fair, yeah. fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, 11 plus 6, 17? Miss. Okay. Uh, new round initiative. 17 plus 3, 20? Dirty? 13. It will try and hit you again. Okay. 13 plus 6, 19? That will hit. Okay. Now she will see it break water. You won't. You will not have to yell. Uh, six and an eight. Fourteen plus four. Eighteen. I'm still up. Okay. Uh, it I is have, your turn. But I have so few hit points. I'm going to plane shift. Okay. How do you plane shift at second level? It's that amulet. I'm trying to read because this thing's all fucked up. It's like I have to roll a D100 or something. Uh, so I'm going to plane shift. Folks at home, uh, if these guys have played the character before and retrieved magic items, uh, they I we let them use it as long as they haven't reached that level. Okay. So I, we, in the past, we determined that we were low enough level that I was only familiar with one plane, and that was the the the. Uh, the fey realm or the fairy realm, whatever the fuck it's called in D and D. Mm -hmm. So I have to roll a D one hundred, or, or no? First, first I have to make an intelligence check. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm successful, I cast plane shift. If I'm unsuccessful, I don't cast it. <coughs> so my intelligence check is a nineteen plus one, a dirty twenty. So I do cast it. Okay. Uh, now on a D100, so I'm going to roll a percentile because I don't have a D100. Uh, I rolled an 83, so I successfully travel where to did you where get this thing out. It was a free gift at the beginning of Christmas. All right. I rolled an 83. I'm successfully where I anticipated I would end up in the fairy in the in the fey realm. Okay. So you now I remind me. Do you come back? I have to I have to use it again to come back. Okay. <laughs> and that was the end of like this one shot. So are you done? Like out? I, I, that's my turn. I, I'll take a bonus action to healing word myself. Okay. And then, uh, how many rounds are you going to stay out? I mean. I, I can choose a location when I'm coming back. So effectively, if I were to say on the deck of the Calypso or whatever the fuck this boat is, the Nova, if I'm successful in that, I will return to the deck. If you are unsuccessful, where will you go? I will show up uh, in a random location on the material plane. Fair enough. Um, go ahead. And how many rounds are you going to wait I, it depends. It depends on what I what, do. I observe anything on the fairy realm or on the fey plane? A white stag. How far? Ooh, Eighty-six feet away. 
okay, so I, I got basically two turns that before it would be in proximity, or at least or at least one full turn before it would be in proximity of me. Mm-hmm. Pretty much, it's just standing okay. there. Okay, I'm going to healing word myself. I'll figure out what happens next at the beginning of the next turn. Okay. Sea uh, Dew, Rainia, Sugarbeard. You hear yelling and screaming coming from Anla uh, at the front of the boat. I lo- oh, sorry, I want to quaff that potion. Okay. I took enough damage to. Sea Dew and Sugarbeard? I, lo- uh, I guess I'll mosey on up to see what's going on. Okay. Uh, Blake, D12 against me. I'm not telling you why. Fucking chest. That's a 10. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, new round. What are you doing? Uh, have I beaten the stag? Is the stag moving? It, 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 essentially, I don't see it charging or anything. No. Yeah. Stag doesn't that. give a shit. Okay. And that's the only thing you see, that in woods. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll go ahead and try and focusing upon the deck of whatever the ship it was called. I'm going to try and do this one more time. Okay. And that's a nat 20. So okay. I make my intelligence check. Uh, my percentile, okay, <coughs> that's going to be a 71. So I am successfully where I wanted to be. And yeah. where is that? I said on the deck of the ship. Oh. Okay. Just anywhere? <laughs> anywhere? On the deck of the ship. I was focusing on the ship that I, wa- that I was on. Okay. Uh, you pop back into the plane, and there is nothing but ocean in front of you. But my compatriots are around me. No. You're standing there, and it's nothing but ocean. N- no, but I was talking about the boat that I was on. Correct. So I'm, there's no one else on the ship. Well, if you turn around where the front of the boat is, that's where everybody's at right now. <laughs> well, that's fine, but I, I specifically said the deck. So I'm not, I'm not the masthead. Right. You're at the back. Right. So I should see them, but I'm facing the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> there that's, you that's, go. That's, Welcome that's, to the game. <laughs> no, no, that's perfectly fine. I don't, give a shit. I don't give a shit about that as long as I recognize the trim. Yeah. Uh, and I have the camper. Oh, no, you can hear the yelling of your uh, associate. Okay. But okay. you know what? Uh, considering it's 930, give me a perception check. Oh, crap. It's uh, that is a 17. There's a ship coming in behind you. Uh, do, I, do I notice the colors? Uh, what, what flag it's flying under? It's a black flag with a white shark fin on it and a black skull and crossbones. Oh, shit. Where is the helm? in relation to where I where I would recognize myself to be. About 10 feet behind you. I'll, I would like to turn and inform whoever's at the helm of that. Nobody's at the helm. Everybody's in the front. I take the helm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How are you going to get out of the channel that you're in? I don't know, but that's probably, <laughs> but that's probably for next turn. So, uh, but I give myself guidance. Sea Dew, Rainia, and Sugarbeard. Uh, you hear the yelling, you go up front, and you see that uh, your first mate is engaged with the barrow. All right, so we have no idea what's coming in behind. Not a clue. Good news is, Rainia has successfully lit one of the flasks of oil and flung it at the marrow and struck it in the chest. Not you mean, Rainia, not Al, 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 yeah, whatever, Al, Al, whatever the fuck her name is. I don't have any of those. All I did was quaff a healing potion. And you have a very capable suicidal cleric at the helm. They don't know that. No, no, <laughs> so, no, Sugarbeard, Sea Dew, and Rainia, what would you like to do? The oh, crew oh, is oh, cheering oh, for Anla. How far away is this enemy creature? She's about, uh, the enemy creature's about 35 or 40. She's about 25 or 30. Well, I want to shoot some arrows at this. Fire at will. Yeah, I want to do the same. Fire at will. AC 11. I'm going to communicate with the marrow's mind and tell him to flee. Saving throw? No. Uh, I can communicate telepathically. 
With okay, but, but, are you Aquaman? If, if you're going to do a damage, that should be a save. Or no, no, a suggestion. Not a suggestion. You can but, just but, you, you say leave. I, I, thought you said, say I, I thought you said I thought you said bleed. Shut the fuck up, people. God damn it. I'm going to say that Father Dagon commands you to dive underneath the water and leave. And as a persuasion, um, that is <coughs> 17. 19. Okay. So, uh, no. It's it's and it's on fire, so it's pissed. Uh, yeah. Rainia and Sugarbeard, have you hit it? 14 hit? 17 to hit it? 11 hits this thing. Oh, okay. Remember, <laughs> ogres, low Eight AC. And it's it with the melee of her? Uh, of Anya. All right, so that is sneak attack. Wait, you you're eight. going into the water? No, she's shooting. Oh, I can, uh, shoot, I can shoot sneak attack if something's within. Yeah, it, it, it's distracted enough by the engagement. Right. Oh. Sugar Beard, so, did you say eight? Yeah. Got it. I did. Uh, what is that? Ten. Uh, Sea-Doo, Rania, Sugarbeard, initiative, uh, separate initiative for Horus. Nice, not roll well. Sixteen. I rolled a 22 as well. Well, it was probably the one against me because mine was only a nine. Nine, and Sugarbeard? Seven. Uh, 22, I'll let you go first, Rania. Uh, the... Mero is going to be locked in combat with Anya. Rinse and repeat. I'm going to try to hit the Mero. And that's an 11 on the die, so that is, that's a hit. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Uh, the timing of the other vessel. Beware the uh, smiling GM, folks. Uh, and beware more if he's laughing. That would be uh, 11 points of damage. And, it, and it, 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 this is the same one, just for the record, that my sacred, my first sacred flame hit. The marrow? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. There's only one, right? Ooh, that's going to hurt. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm trying to help her. Well, she has also dinged the thing up. Oh, <laughs> So she takes a blistering hit from the creature's coral oh. club. Uh, next up, uh, what did she roll? Next up is her, or no, the 16 is up next. See you. All right, I will accidentally shoot Anya in, <laughs> in the back. What accidentally, <laughs> accidentally is in half damage, or accidentally is in full? Oh, uh -huh. accidentally is in full. Got uh, it. Uh, does a 16 hit? 16 hits her. Okay. Damn it. She's going to take six damage and then be shoved into the water. <laughs> like, oh my. Oh, oh darn. The, uh, the crew will look at you highly pissed, and uh, she got the 13, so it's her turn. Uh, she doesn't need to roll death saves yet, but she's going to spend her turn getting up instead of attacking the marrow. Uh, so next up is the... You mean, you mean getting out of the water? Because uh, she's 10 feet down. She's She was still on the stones. So <laughs> Right, so 10 foot into the water, she could still get out with her movement. Uh, yeah, but the stones are going to prevent her. This is difficult terrain for anybody. Okay, so, so she's taking her action to get out of the water. She's not Correct. stuck in the water. Okay. Correct. You are up. You see the scorpion headed right for you. I want to holler for Sugarbeard to relieve me of my duties. <laughs> and Sugarbeard, you have a seven. You hear a familiar voice, but for some reason, it's coming behind you. Oh, okay. I uh, run to my friendly voice. Uh, you see Horace standing for some reason at the other end of the ship. You're pretty and sure I say, he got off. Confidently, we need to get the fuck out of here. Well, hang on. Sugarbeard, give me a perception check to see if behind Horace you see the looming ship. I rolled a 16. 
there is a big ship with sails and shit as Horace is yelling for you, and you see that this ship... I'm not, is, I'm not yelling. It's more Willy Wonka. No, stop. Don't. It, it's on a collision course with the Nova. Awesome. I want to steal it and take it from my... Be a pirate. Do I recognize the ship from my voyages with my brother? Arcana check. All righty. 11. You are familiar, although you don't know who the captain is. Oh, that's fine. Cool. I'm going to go to the helm. Fair enough. Uh, new round, everybody. Initiative at the same time. Uh, red will be Anya. Oh, shit. That doesn't bode well for her. 17. 17. 17. 17. Horace and Sugar Bear. 14. 14? 11. 11. Uh, 17, you are up. You can go if you want. Oh, go ahead. All right, fine. I'll shoot her again. Shoot the marrow again. I assume the marrow's still in melee range? Uh, yeah, because she's getting up. It only requires an 11, which is good because I rolled an 11. What? Why are you shaking your head at me? It's only an 11. You guys should be kicking the shit out of this thing. I know. I rolled an 11. That is a hit. <laughs> yes, it is a hit. Hey, I am kicking the shit out of this thing. That's 13 points. That is hurting it. He attack. Go ahead, c do who you aiming at this time. Oh, I'll go for the marrow this time. Okay. That is a 15. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, four damage, and I'm just going to mentally, we're disappointed in you. <laughs> and then he gets shoved into the water. Uh, 14, Horus. The vessel am, will be here next round. I it is going, full steam ahead. I am going to, seeing the commotion at the other end of the ship, I'm going to try and use my movement to get there. Uh, is that enough to get to the edge, uh, like uh, the rail? Uh, what's your movement? Uh, 30. So it'd be, or 25. I'm sorry. So you'll be 10 feet away. Okay. Uh, well, hang on here. What is, what is this? Uh, what's the range on this? Um, oh, okay. No, that's touch. I can't use that. So never mind. Uh, actually, who, who is nearby me at 25 feet? Who's, who's, Who's like, am I next to anyone or not? Sugar, no one? Sugar Beard, you will pass. Uh, I don't want to do it to him. That was last turn we passed. I'm up at the helm already. Yeah, because oh, okay. he, he had his full turn. So I'm he, using he's, he's the only one close because everybody else is ready in crossbows. And they're okay, then before I move, I'm going, to, I'm going to give him guidance before I move. Okay. And then you move? Yeah, and that's pretty much all I can do. Add into uh, the additional 1d4 on one of my rolls for the next 10 minutes. On, on, a, on an, any ability check or uh, I want to say save, I'll, I'll double check. Okay. Uh, the marrow will attack. Uh, just an ability check. Okay. Uh, that is not going to be enough to hit her. And then the crew, the red is going to be the captain, unleashes a volley. <laughs> <laughs> and only one hits. Ooh, but max damage. Very nice. Uh, you see a volley, well, half of you see a volley of crossbow bolts flying at the marrow. Most fall uh, harmlessly, but one does get him in the throat. Uh, next up is the 11, Sugarbeard. Sugarbeard, you see the scorpion bearing down on you, and you know it ain't going to stop. Uh, the masthead has a huge pincer on it, uh, and it is going to hurt. Cool. So um, we're not anchored, right? We just, the sails are furled. Sails are up. Yep. Right, but we're, our path forward is essentially blocked by this sunken vessel. Right. Yeah. Because this channel is very shallow. Oh, so we're already in the channel. Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, you can try and ram it, but we're going to take damage. We're going to take damage well, from the ship behind us. You can't even... The, 
there's nobody in the rigging. I mean, you can't do shit. You can't steer out of the way. You really can't do shit. Well, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm at the stern. So all I need is to shout down to, uh, to if, if the ship has uh, never officially uh, stopped, then the yeah, there hasn't been, then we still have wind in the sails. Sails are up. Right. I, I point out to Horace which ropes to pull on for all the sails. I'll have to do that next turn, but that's fine. Yeah. Okay. You shout I'll be ready at the helm. Okay, that's right. fair. Now you know the ship's going to hit you next round, right? So you'll have to beat me in initiative. I'll yeah. have to beat you. Yeah. No, because he's got to yell to you. No, that's he, that's what he's doing that's this my turn. Action. Oh, that's what you're doing right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah. gotcha. Okay, so. <laughs> Gosh, Frank. I don't hear thing. Yeah, I, I, you guys are fucked. <laughs> essentially, are, guys. I don't. Okay, know. plane shifted out of here, motherfuckers. <laughs> so, new round. Everybody, roll initiative. I want to join their crew. Sixteen. Uh, that is also a sixteen. Okay. Nine. Twenty-two. Nine. Twenty-two. See do. Twenty-one. 21 and on law gets a nine and the crew. Oh, okay. On law is a nine. The crew is going to go after 21 and 22. Uh, go ahead. 22 Rainia. So there's no way. There's, I, I, I'm so focused on what's in front of me. I do not see the approaching ship, right? Correct. All right, then I will try to shoot the mirror. Mirror is still up, I assume, so I'm Correct. gonna try to shoot again. Uh, that's a 14 on the die, so that'll hit. Um, oh, wow, that's good. <clears throat> that's 13 points of damage. Nicely done. Uh, Sidhu, who are you aiming at this time? Uh, does a 13 passive perception notice a large looming ship coming to crash Ooh. into us? Not from directly behind you. No, but it will be enough to hear Sugar Beard uh, and Horace Order, ordering me around. Walking. Wait, passive perception of 14, so I can hear this too then? Oh, yeah, but you're shooting ahead. So. Well, no, 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 if she would have heard that, maybe she wouldn't shoot. Oh, I probably just, well. I That's you know what? I started my turn asking. Yes, so we are. We already passed. <laughs> not, I'm not changing my action except for one thing. I'm going to look up. Oh, I hear the dog. A after the attack. Right. I'm just going to look up behind and see okay. it. And go sit. See, do you? I'll turn around and see what's going on. Why Sugar Beard is yelling at Horace? There is a massive ship coming in. Uh, hot. And it is gonna hit. You'll need to brace for impact. Yep. I will do that. Yeah. Okay. Fuck. If I can uh, even take the time to wrap an extra tentacle around something. Me. The, You're going uh, down with him. <laughs> Help me. So the, the, I don't all right, it's tentacle play with Rainia. I grab her yeah. and then grab onto the ship. The crew is gonna aim for the ogre. The ogre. Oh. Or Meryl. Okay, Meryl. Meryl. A natural one, a four, a 19, and a 20. Uh, the oh, captain. Uh, they successfully uh, killed uh, Alanon. The captain may have hit Anla. Yeah. The captain has killed Anla. Yeah. Uh, the crewmen have killed the Meryl. Woo! Woo! We got it down in time before we get hit. So we, the captain killed the first mate. That's Correct. Right. All right. Awesome. With, with a shitty roll. <laughs> All of a sudden, everybody hears and or sees just this crunch of wood on wood. Everybody give me a DC 14 versus Dex. See do at advantage. Now I'm wrapped around Rainia as well. Yeah. She will, I'll give you a plus two, Rainia. All right. And this is a save or the check? Save. I'm also not near the edge. We've established that. You'll, you'll, yeah, but you'll be knocked prone if you fail it. I rolled a 14. But that's... Hey, the marrow's dead, so... 
Uh, I don't make it. I don't make it. What was it? A fourteen? Yes, but you get plus two because yeah, you're being I rolled, Well, I rolled a fucking four, so that's a nine plus two is eleven. Take four hit points as you careen into the okay. edge of the ship. The captain and three of the crewmen firing crossbow bolts whoop, are over the side. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't that bad. That From the damage. Bad. Sugarbeard, you hear screaming and yelling as a group of goblin sailors jump over onto your ship. Well, no, 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 no. I tied you for initiative. I should be able to unfurl the sails to take impact, but be able to move to, into the shipwreck. You you tied Anya. No, I, oh, okay. You had, you had hired them 16? Yeah, they got the 18. Anya got the 16 oh, okay. tied with okay. you. Anya is now dead, unless you okay. want to try and save her. Uh, but the captain did shoot her right in the head. I was okay, yeah, she hasn't gone yet. Though. And you don't know where she's at. Because you're still on board. I know where she's at because I knew she was following me. She yeah, was you you don't me. have line of sight. She, she came. At, I, I don't have line of sight, but I know where she's at. Yes. Oh. Yeah. But you don't know that the marrow's dead. You don't know that she's dead. Correct. But I, I, know, I know the general whereabouts of where she was. So the ship collides. The scorpion collides and goblins are jumping off. Six teens. Anya needs a death save. Horace, you can go. Okay. That's one. How, how far is the rigging that I was instructed to unfurl? Well, you saved, right? What do you mean saved? Deck saved from the collision. This deck saved from the collision. Yeah, yes, I saved. Okay. Uh, it's maybe five feet away because you were headed up towards the front of the ship. Now you okay. got to come back a little bit and fuck with I'll you. go unfurl it and then I'm jumping back off the side. Go ahead and give me an intelligence check uh, to make sure because there's a shitload of ropes here. Uh, that is a 10. Yeah, good enough. Uh, you managed to yank one. Uh, give me odd even. Odd is the high. Uh, even is even. the low. It's even. So, Sugarbeard, you see the secondary sail unfurl. <laughs> Let's see if the wind, ca if the wind catches it, it's going to jerk the ship forward. Okay, and everybody will have to make another save. Oh. Uh, odd back off the side. Uh, odd, it catches the ship. Uh, even it doesn't do anything because you're in the shoals. Six, even you are in the shoals, so it's not moving. Uh, Horace, you jump over the side. Uh, Sugar beard, uh, there is a goblin with, with the next with the next twelve. Okay, uh, there's a goblin group coming at you. What would you like to do? Because you are now up. Uh, so the ship's not moving, even though the jib's down? Even though the jib's down, the ship is not moving. The wind is not. I, the how, wind was is the probably, how, was the, how was the ship behind us approaching on us if the wind wasn't at its sails? Because it's behind its sails. So its sails. That's, is not, how wind work. Work. That's not how wind works, Frank. Haven't you seen Zelda? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. So <laughs> the big ship behind you is taking all its wind. It's a fat ship. Watch, watch Arrow Flynn. That's how they beat the Spanish. They steal their wind. That's not. They beat the Spanish because they, they, nobody expects the Spanish Cause, Armada. Because <laughs> Errol Flynn. What do you want to do, Sugarbeard? I mean, I guess since physics isn't working, I'll defend the goblins or fight off the goblins. <laughs> okay, that's fair. Uh, they will be in range uh, right now. And they don't get to attack you, so cool. I'll uh I'll swing at one. Fair enough. And that was actually a good roll, so twenty four to hit with my short sword. Easily hit him. And that was eight damage, piercing. Uh, I think you might have killed one. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you killed one. These guys are squishy. There's a lot of them. Uh, give me an insight check, Sugar Beard. Yeah. Uh, nat 20 plus three. One of the goblins uh, getting or jumping onto the ship is loaded down with 
potion bottles or vials. He's a, he's a suicidal berserker. So oh, yeah. strapped across. So everybody roll initiative. Uh, I will roll for the crew who is flat on their fucking face. 21. Yes. Dirty 20. Uh, I, saw, I heard dirty 20, a 10. I have 11. 10, 11. What'd you get, Sugarbeard? 21. You're up first. Cool. How many more goblins are there? <laughs> Six. And um, there's more behind them. Cool. I'm, um, is that one with the potions pretty close within melee? It is behind the group of five. It's uh, running I'll, towards I'll the crack down in the, the wall with, it, with the torch lit chariots of fire style. <laughs> Two towers. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking the Urukai running towards Helm's Deep. So who, who are you going to go after? I'll just go after one of the goblins between me and the berserker. Fair enough. Hit me. Um, and I got an 11 to hit. Uh, I don't think that gets him. No, 15 is what you need to hit. Well, miss. Uh, next up is the dirty 20. You are I, off I, the I, side I, of the ship. I want Anla's magic item. <laughs> uh, you're going to have to run up and get it. That's fine. And dig her body out, and I need to roll... Well, no, she was she was on shore. Did she go in into the water or onto the shore? Did you roll for into that? Into the water. Okay, I'll, I'll fish her it, out. She, she's doing the dead man's float. It, it'll take you one round to get up to her. Because again, uneven uh, terrain. Fair, fair enough. Uh, Twenty. Me. I, I, <laughs> I, 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 and, and, and during my movement. As a grave cleric, I can cast Spare the Dying as a bonus at range. So I will I will, I will stabilize her so she no, is no longer making death saves. Yeah. I'm still I'm still gonna loot the shit out of her, but she's not gonna die. Gotcha. Uh four goblins and then the goblin alchemist. Oh man. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh four, the four, brothers. I heard four, they're good for alchemy. Four goblins on Sugar Beard. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't think they got you. 18 is the best roll I got. Yeah, 18 hits. <laughs> 10 doesn't hit, though, right? Nope, AC 16. Yeah, so the 9 and the 8 won't hit you either. Uh, 4, 5, 6, and 14 plus 4. Uh, 6. 5 plus 2, 7 damage. Uh, and you see the alchemist hurl something towards the middle of the ship. There's oh, shit. Uh, next up is the 11. Uh, that's Rainia. Yeah. Uh, what do I see coming towards the middle of the ship? Uh, it's a like a little glass vial filled with flaming black shit. Any way to intercept it and catch it. Sure. With, with your face. With your face. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I went. I took four damage. So I assume I went down, right? I was prone. Yes. So okay, you have so to get up. Get up, and then how do you want to do this? Um, well, it's the middle of the ship, and you're at the front of the ship. Uh, it's thirty-five feet away. Half your okay. movement to get up. Make that much move. Yeah. So you will do the. Well, actually, wait, I lied. I can't. Nope, nope, nope. I, no, bonus action dash, right? Because I'm a rogue? Yep, okay. there you go. Yep. So, yeah, I can get there. Okay. So are yeah. you going to make the grab? I don't know if it's better to grab it or just try to bat it into the water. <laughs> Either. E either or, your choice. What? All right, what do you want me to if make? If you bat it into the water, you're going to hit me. That's what he's laughing about <laughs> Just out of curiosity, is this vial on fire that she's trying to catch? No, no, actually, I shouldn't hit you, Blake. I'm going off the side. I know, but it's Frank. It's Frank. She's not going to hit you. She's going to shatter a glass vial. <laughs> Fine, I'll catch it. I'm just trying it, to... It, 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 still, it still has a chance of breaking. That's so, fine. Okay, so... Let it blow up. 
go ahead and we'll we'll give it an AC of I don't know, fifteen. So those 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 fingerless rogue, rogue gloves have plenty of absorbative power for, right. for right, right, right. the impact. So what am I rolling here? Uh, see if you can hit it, i.e., intercept it. So fifteen is its AC. If before you roll, but if you're greater than three. You catch that motherfucker outright and it doesn't blow up in your hand. So, so he's saying 15 to 18, you successfully catch it. Higher than that, you you break it. Is this like slide of hand or dex or something? That's what I'm he's trying to, to catch it, so it's trying it's to hit arm, it. It's an arm, and, an arm. and use dex. I rolled I roll a 19 on the die. What is it, dex? Piece of cake. It's Piece of cake. You, you grab it and let it trail off behind you while you still have it in your hand. What would you like to do with it? Throw back. Yeah, that that would be bad. It's, I'm looking. I'm like I'm not on a ship. Well, I positive. wouldn't hold on to it for too long. I know. I actually, you know what? Can I keep moving? I know how much further I can move. But you, I would keep I, you've, you've, first the back. You use, you, you've you've used you've used your movement because you, you had to you, get you, up you, for you, half. You had you had sixty then, feet of movement. You've used fifteen to get up and. 35 right. to get there, you have an additional 10. Actually, maybe if, if this, if I think this thing's going to blow in my hand, I'm going to take you think, You're pretty sure it's going to blow in your hand. Then I'm going to hurl it over overboard. I'm just going to take it and hurl it overboard away from everybody. Left or right as Which you way? face the rear of the ship. All right. So, well, he's, he's at the front towards, he's at the front of the ship, right? So I shouldn't hit him either which way i mean i would talk me my my right as i'm facing backwards okay just roll a d20 straight up uh 15 okay (laughs) yes hey that makes up for what happened earlier with the trying to see dude you're a 10 you see rainia sprint towards the middle of the ship Take this great outfielder grab and hurl it over. D12 against me first. Oh, come on. I'm not trying to, it better not be to hit him. I'm not trying to hit anybody. Nine. I realize it's murder hobo though. One. It goes over your head and two explodes. Uh, Your turn. What would you like to do? How bad does the situation look? There are more goblins uh, disembarking from the scorpion. And there's <laughs> easily more goblins than there are sailors on our ship. Especially since uh, four of them and the captain went the over goblin. the side. He's going to mute me. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and you are a goblin. I am a goblin, yes. Oh, God. they're gonna. He's going to freaking make us all prisoners. I was going to say, if you didn't throw that thing overboard, I was going to shoot it in your hand. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, wait a minute. Why don't we just be pirates? Why don't we go take over their ship? I know I'm not a goblin, but... Hey, shut up. You've already gone this round. (laughs) Go ahead, c do. What do you want to do? How many more sailors are fighting off the goblins? Uh, Six. Six of them? I would like to join them in, in their ranks and begin to fight alongside them. Uh, so I cast... Wait, wait, the, the sailors or the goblins? Yeah, you weren't specific. Who are you joining? Oh, the sailors on our ship. Okay. Gosh, guys. And, and what, what was your action again? Uh, casting Arms of Hadar. Come. Arms of Hodor. Dude. It's an H-A. It's a Hadar, at least. Uh, So all of our sailors need to make a strength saving throw as tentacles continue to rip out of my chest and grab an attack. You're so wrong. (laughs) That's strength of Hadar? I thought that was hunger of Hadar. Is that a different thing? A different thing. What do I need? Because I got an 8, a 6, a 9, a 13, a 1, and a 17. (laughs) Oh, God. (laughs) Thirteen was the uh, thirteen and seventeen were the only ones to make it. Okay, so four of our sailors are trapped. Uh, well, they take. Well, 
It's um, 11 damage to the <laughs> failed That's a first one. level spell? Yes. 2d6. I rolled a 5 to, and a 6. To get, to get how, many, how many victims? That is anyone within a 20-foot diameter. Oh, wow. So, so friend, friendly and ally. Or friendly and ally. I so think he enemy. focused and on and them. Well, well, no, no, I don't think no, they're no, friendly. No no, 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 no. He said anyone. That's friendly and enemy. Oh, my goodness. I, mean, look yeah, I think it gets them all. First, first level spell would do well. If, if it's going to be that powerful, it's going to do damage to everyone. Do, do, do. And batter all creatures. I'm specifically aiming for the sailors on our ship. But you can't, you can't call it, though, if it's all creatures. Rainia, you would be the only one within range. D12 against me. It's where okay. I'm standing is the point. Right. Uh, and, you know, I'm going but... to call it by saying I'm mostly going to be standing where it's going to get more of but, them. But if they're but if they're all in, in, engaged in combat with each other, it's going to get both of them. Rainia, how many? Oh, did you roll above a one? Then you beat me. <laughs> you take damage. <laughs> of course I do. How much? Strength saving throw. Oh, all right. Give me a. Oh boy, it figures. How many? No, how many of the goblins did he get to though? Because he got goblins with that. Strength saving throw. Uh, no, he did not. Yeah, yeah, he did. The crew is shooting. Oh, they're uh, shooting. Okay, okay, yeah. that's okay. Thirteen on that saving throw. Just pass. Yeah, so that is. Uh, you round down. You take five necrotic damage. Ow. And then um, I'm going to have one larger than life tentacle of those tentacles as a bonus action, reach out and um, go after one of the sailors who uh, didn't die from that. Okay. I assume a lot of them went down. Yes or no? All four of six. Okay. So what do I need? Uh, no, this is just a straight attack roll. Um does a 13 hit? Uh, the sailors, yes. yes. Not the goblin sailors, but the sailors, yes. Oh, no. I'm not aiming for the goblin sailors. I know. I'm, I'm just giving you an out in case you change your mind. Five. Um, so, five lightning damage to that sailor. <laughs> now, did they take half damage before? Yes. Okay. Still alive. Ah, damn it. New round, everybody. I'm being possessed. I'm being possessed. I'm being repressed. I'm being repressed. <laughs> natural 20. Damn it. That I only no caught the natural 20. 16. 16. Rainy and Sugarbeard. Nine. Nine. God damn it. That 20. It was bad to lose to him, I think. Um, so it's two sailors left and Rainia. There are two sailors left on board. Uh, give me a perception passive check. Oh, it would be 13. Uh, you will hear somebody trying to climb where Anla had climbed before. Um, climbed. I will turn and look and be there. Climb. She climbed up to get the oil. You what? Who's behind me? Uh, it's going to be the captain and one of the crew members. I'm in. I'm in. I dove overboard. I didn't say climb down. Right. Right. Okay. It's okay. not you. It's okay. someone else. So I'm going to shoot an Eldritch blast at the captain. Okay. Uh, Nineteen. Right. Nineteen. Okay. Uh, he takes six damage and blasted back into the water. And the tentacle is a 12. Does that hit our sailor? Yes. Uh, eight lightning damage. The same one that you double hit before? Yeah. Dead. Uh, 16. Horus. 
I, I, I want her fucking magic item. Uh, give me an investigation check. Is it an advantage because I know she has one? Uh, no, you still got to find it. You know she's got it, but you got to search her body for it. Didn't Blake see it glowing blue when he first got on the ship? Yeah, it would It would have specifically no, No, with Detect it's, Magic, the item itself would specifically be glowing. Right. It's under her shirt. So her it's a, chest, it's so a so belly her ring. So Okay, so her, so her abdomen is glowing, so I would know to look there. If it gets through her leather armor. It, yeah, Detect Magic yeah. can pierce through a foot of wood. Okay, go ahead. Uh, uh, so, you can do it at advantage. Okay. <laughs> Thank God, because that turns uh, a six into an eighteen. Okay. Uh, yes, she has some glow. Or she has a uh, belly button ring. I I yank it out. I don't. I'm not worried about saving her. Damage. She's <laughs> <laughs> bleeding. Granted, granted, she is stabilized, but I'm not too concerned about that. Not anymore. <laughs> You've done damage. <laughs> okay. Uh, next up is the thirteen. That's me. And and, and is a bonus action. I want to pull her teeth. That's going to take a while. That's more like an action. Okay, the next round, but that's what I'm going to be spending the next turn doing. That's fair. Uh, and, I'm, and I'm assuming that is going to kill her. Most likely. Uh, so, next up is the goblins. Uh, Sugarbeard, you've noticed their ranks have doubled. Uh, you now have... Uh, that one's dead, so you got five. Now you got ten. Shit. This is not good. And uh, the alchemist is going to odd even. Whew. It's going to throw an acid vial this time. So uh, I'm only going to give you five that can get into melee with you, Sugarbeard. Okay. Okay. I'm adding four. Uh, four, no. Eight, no. Eighteen, yes. Eleven, does a fifteen get you? Nope, AC sixteen. Uh, and seventeen, so twenty-one. So two hit. D6 plus two. So four plus uh, four. Eight damage to you. Uh, <laughs> and the alchemist is going to try and hit you with the acid vial. Uh, I'll go with this one. 11 plus 1, 12. No, uh, an acid vial goes over your head and you hear a sizzle in the deck behind you. Nice. Uh, next up is the 9. Rania. Oh, boy. Um, so I'm no longer being tentacle raped or whatever. Not uh, at the moment. <laughs> I take a glance. So there's still more goblins on the other ship, or have they all migrated over here? Perception. Fourteen. Uh, there are three more still on the deck of the Scorpion. Oops. One of them looks weird. Uh, oh, that is probably not good. <laughs> I know I'm so tempted to go try to assassinate him and then make off with the ship. I really want to do that. Um, God, this is a shit show. Welcome to Murder Hobo Inc. Oh, no, shit. You're, you're right. This is a shit show. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it so much. Uh, these are the tough you, things. You could go I, help Horace. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't know what I'm doing. She doesn't know what I'm doing. I don't You're know. Gonna need I, help. <laughs> I don't know where the horse is. Um, well, shit. Um, I'm gonna. So there's a whole bunch more goblins coming in. There's ten around. Sugar beard. I don't know what to freaking do. Um. And I only have nine hit points. Um. I think I'm going to try to go somewhere. I'm going to try to actually go. Can I stealth anywhere on the ship? Are there shadows or places to hide or whatever? Nope. You, no. could, you could maybe hide behind the mast because the lower jib is uh, unfurled. So okay. definitely the three on board. Hypothetically, the hypothetically you could get half cover from the sail. 
Well, it doesn't come all the way down. <gasps> That's why I said half cover. I know. I'm so. What am I freaking gonna do? Um, all right, you know what? I'm gonna go behind the sail, and I still have my bow out, so I can try shooting something. At, let me. I guess I have to make. I guess yeah. I have to make a stealth check, right? Yes. Now I would assume you would know that C do accidentally hit you. <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not gonna. Yeah, but to me, attacking anything right now would be just like in melee would be, in my view, suicidal. Um. So she's trying to get somewhere to hide from them, from him, and from the goblins. Uh, well, the goblins are on one end of the ship and sea dews on the other. So you ain't going to hide from both. You can hide from one or the we other. shared some good times together. Don't forget. I that. know. Why do you want to hurt me? You should I'm not trying to hurt you. I literally thought about it and then I didn't. All right. That's fair. Can we roll back the tape on that one? <laughs> <laughs> he was going to shoot the freaking thing. Yeah, you know, why don't you... Four attacks that I have, only one because we didn't know where she was exactly. You know what I'm going to do? We're second level. Level. We're second level. I'm going to hide from the goblins, and I'm going to look back as I go before I get there. I'm going to say, take me with you. I'll... I want to be a pirate, man. Try piracy! Woo! Persuasion. <laughs> It's actually a lot of Zolanala. Oh, yes. I am very persuasive. That is, uh, that's a 22. Because she wants to be a pirate. There's actually, it's, it's not, it's all the truth. Sugarbeard, like behind you, you hear the familiar voice of Rania saying, take me with you. I want to be a pirate. What do yeah. you want to do? Yo, ho, yo, ho. Wait, wait, do I still get to go stealth at least behind the pole? Not if you're <laughs> yelling out. out. And then hide. No, I say that and then, then I said that before I walked over. <laughs> you say it, then hide. <laughs> and then they come over looking for you. Oh, like we were I don't know. I want to be a pirate. <laughs> I'm making my way. I say that and make my way towards the other ship. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, Sugar Beard, you're up. Oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to swipe at it. another goblin. Oh, this is too many to fight. I miss. Uh, you know what? I will have pity on you fucks. <laughs> oh, that's fine. I was yeah. expecting to die. Oh, I want, I, I, want, I want another round to be able to get on board. It's, uh, <laughs> well... <laughs> No, because <laughs> you still haven't faced the water weird. Uh, folks, it's 10.15 or 10.19. Uh, we've run a little bit long. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, but we'll see. Uh, let's go ahead and do final thoughts to this catastrophe. Uh, Kyle, final thoughts. What do you think? Always become a goblin because when things finally turn south, you'll be able to blend in much easier. Uh Fair. Rania, you did persuade him. Roll a d12. Let's see if you oh beat Oh, God, him. we're going to actually resolve this? No, we aren't going to resolve yeah, it. Definitely a Can I give her advantage if I'm on her side of things? Come Not on. If. I killed six of them. That's only a three. Yeah, they're they're going to accept you in your enlistment, and then they'll fucking That's kill good. you. <laughs> No, 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 no. I will get away before that happens. All right. I be a pirate. That would be fun. Okay. Blake, final thoughts. I, I finish out my turns collecting her teeth, offering them to see do as tribute to Mama. <laughs> and then I plane shift out of there. Sugar Beard, what'd you think? Oh, man, that was... Uh... That was weird. The first half of this uh, adventure, nothing really got accomplished. Uh, C. Do and Rainia had sex. I yeah, nothing got accomplished. <laughs> Rainia had sex twice. That's I true. Know. <laughs> yeah, this is I say this is the most murder hobo character I have in my lineup of characters. Currently, 
What about the one uh, from the campaign that uh, orchestrated you, 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 the attack? You, you mean Perpetua's new hey, favorite what, persona? Wait, 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 That's right. What do you mean the one from the campaign? What orchestra? What attack did I orchestrate? Uh, show of hands. Them. She's the boss, right? Yeah, she killed Simon's Hollow. She admitted yeah, it. She admitted there, it there twice. She admitted it. She admitted it in a court of law. We'll yeah. talk after we're off the air about folks. I uh, appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed it. This was a shit show. When we publish it, you'll see exactly what we moved around. But other than that, uh, for everybody here at Murder Hobo Inc., uh, we appreciate your time. Hope you enjoyed it. If you want a seat, get with us. Uh, let's do the wave. Follow us on Twitch, Twitter, YouTube. Bye, everybody. Uh, producer, get us the frick out of here. Bitches ain't shit. <laughs>